Hi, everybody. I'm Nina Bosky. And I'm Gary Vitaco Robles. And you've heard from us before. Uh, we did a whole series last year around May Mental Health Month and bringing awareness to mental illness and mental health and making sure that we're reducing the stigma around mental illness. That's a really big thing. But right now, um, what we decided to do here on our Maryland page and obviously in our podcast and the companion podcast, Norma Jean Discovering Truths, we really do talk about the mental, mental illness that Marilyn had, but also for you that might be uh, needing and wanting help, not only for yourself, but maybe a loved one. So each Monday, we're gonna bring you either a mental health tip, an article, a video, either from Gary Vitaka Robles and myself, or another transformational leader or personal growth um, uh, expert that can actually help you in the area of your own mental health. Because the, the stronger we get, the more healthy we get mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, the better we're going to be. And we all know as Maryland fans, that was really important to Maryland. So with that said, Gary, uh, what is our, our tip for today is our kickoff video segment for Mental Health Mondays. Well, there's always a tremendous amount of stress in the world. Um, however, we're, we're living through some extremely stressful times right now. Um, the COVID pandemic, and a lot of um, social unrest in our country. And so in this age of technology, we really need to establish some boundaries and parameters around our own exposure to the media's coverage of these stressful events. So it's important to stay abreast of what's going on and to hear the information, but we can become overwhelmed and it can really impact our mental health and even shut us down. So I think it's really important that we assign a certain amount of time to listen to this information, but we have to take breaks. We've got to disconnect from it and we need to re-engage in more um, enjoyable, pleasurable and aspects. I, and I wanna just jump in here because I think this is such an important aspect. There's one thing to be able to get the information and go back to your life. It's another thing to be addicted to the information because one of the things that it does then is it gets into your nervous system and you start running the energy of fight or flight, which then creates a stress response 24 seven. We're living in stressful times, but you've got to be mindful of what you are absorbing in terms of your mental capacity. So that's a really good one, Gary. What's and, and next? important to learn how to ground oneself because if, if we're exposed to all the stimuli and we're um, re-experiencing it, um, we need to, to ground ourselves in the here and the now and the present and in the safety of our home where we might even be exposed to some of this information. So one of the ways that, that I like to ground myself is to focus on my gratitude. So there are important aspects of each of our lives that we sometimes take for granted because we have control over them or they're going rather well so they don't attract as much attention as say the negative things so i love that focus on the good and it could be a very small um aspect of our lives but focus on that good and be grateful for it they say that practicing gratitude even increases our t-cells so that builds our immunities so that's another important that's a really really good one and i love energy work and i think that we are you know spiritual beings having a human experience so you got to realize that you know back 50 years ago you can naturally uh kind of release energies out of your energy field today you've got to be much more intentional about it so one tip on top of the grounding is I'd like people when they're actually taking a shower in the morning or at night is to release the energy of the day or release any energy that doesn't serve them anymore so that they are constantly kind of clearing and, and grounding their energy too. Let's give them one more tip so we won't overwhelm them. So you've got 
right now we got, hey, don't overload your mind with too much media because that's not good. Second one is to ground yourself into, allows you to be more present with gratitude. And when you take a shower to clear your energy, what's one last other tip that we can give them today? Stay socially connected. And in this era of social distancing, it might be a challenge to do, but this is a... Uh, this is one of the areas where our technology can really help us. We often talk about ways technology hinders us, but even the way we're communicating right now on Zoom, this is a wonderful way if you're isolated in your home, you're trying to protect yourself, you're trying to stay safe, connect socially with others. Families can set up times where everyone gets together and jumps on Zoom. It's a great way to celebrate birthdays when we couldn't all get into the same room. So it doesn't have to be just special events like that. We should have a, a constant connection to people who love us and whom we love, our healthy relationships, and don't isolate and shut down. You know, the reason why I think that's so important is because when we get depressed or when we get sad or when we get angry, our energy constricts and we start to close off from the world. So the very thing that you're wanting or naturally doing is the very opposite of what you need to do. And for people that are, are either wanting or in recovery, there's a lot of AA groups, Al-Anon groups. There's a lot of support out there, but you've got to make the first move. So just remember to stay connected. Even if you reach out to one person, it's really important to do that and not isolate yourself. So hopefully this is going to help you. Uh, Gary and I, it might be Gary one week. It might be me one week. It might be somebody else this week, but we really want to offer up some tools, especially in the world that we're living in to, to give people hope because uh, one of the main things that we're doing around Marilyn behind the icon is taking a tragic event and utilizing her legacy to create a transformative experience. It might not have happened in Marilyn's lifetime, but it certainly can happen in yours. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week. Until next week.